Hey guys, okay, you're too low here. Let me go fetch the tripod. <clears throat> Yo, wait. <clears throat> okay, what's this about? Okay, I think we're ready. Right? Ah, yes. Okay, hey guys. okay now i can finally start hey guys how you doing so this is after the wild weekend and so if i do say so myself because i'd be lying if i told you that it was very tame and i keep reiterating itaewon is not a real place guys there's no way it's not a real place don't believe the hype that place is not real ha uh -uh. the things that happen there mm -mm. Nothing horrible, like nothing crazy, but it's crazy. You'll know if you know. Eh, sorry for that. I didn't want to be that person, but that place is not real. Anyway, this is not what I'm here to talk about. So, God, is she in delivery? Finally! Finally! It's here and I want to unbox it with you guys. While I process through some thoughts that I want to share with you. I probably shouldn't have put that plastic near my mouth because one thing about delivery is they are filthy like these guys but anyway let me crank this open first and then we'll get the convo going um. okay first look stuff that i got hey eh? um there's some shoes in here skirts in here but let's start with accessories ne? and then i'll share with you like my thought process oh my gosh these are so cute love them oh because i really needed sandals i don't know what i was thinking not coming with sandals okay oh no I didn't have space and I came in the winter time and I thought that fella I'd buy the new sandals when I'm here. Nah, not for a cute beach day. <gasps> oh, guys. I'm so impressed. I probably do like a styling haul video later on where I dress them up, but I'm really loving these. This might be a little too big, but I'm really loving them. Like they're so uh, beach vibes, vacation vibes, you know what I mean? You know, did I just say that you know the vibes? I did. And yo, what are the box yet then? And these oh, oh, would it really be me if I didn't get like loafer like shoes? <laughs> How nice! To be fair, I'm obsessed with these kind of shoes like that look like loafers slash espadrilles. I can't wait for the day I buy the real Magoya Espadrol because I'm obsessed. And they're so nice. <gasps> Guys, I'm obsessed. I hope they're not too big. But if they're big, it's fine. This is Korea. Fun fact, most people here don't wear their correct size. They wear a shy, like a size bigger because of the culture of taking your shoes on and off like when you get into a house. But I really love these. I'm going to try them on. But like you'll probably see... Uh, them in a try and hold like later after today this is actually making me feel so much better because to be fair i was feeling very perfunk if you don't know what that is i, I oh i get it because it's a word that we made up at home when you're not feeling too good but it's normally associated with health i don't know why i'm rambling but i was really feeling emotionally perfunk because of news sad news that i got from home from my little sister and it's terrible that i checked my phone towards the last few minutes of class i probably shouldn't have done that but ah, i did it and now i had to like bury my feelings until i got home so that i can actually process because yeah that's just 
that's just what has had to happen and i got earrings how nice how nice they like come in different variety oh love them let me take them out of the plastic so you can see them properly but i love them i'm um quite impressed because i'm on this like gold jewelry or gold accessories fad right now i really love these so this, these are the first few pairs these are like studs pearls and like a plastic like material i really love these because they are not too big and they're not too small they're like a good mid-size to still qualify for like the dainty earring vibe that i'd be going for this this has to be my favorite um pair of the two look at these pearl ones these pearl and gold ones these ones also these ones also they're like giving you three dimensional and obviously these are like diamante hearts and circles these this has to be like my favorite pair of the two but i love them both and i'm gonna get a good wear out of them there's still like two more accessories before i start with the clothing stuff that i want to show you mm. Okay, this is not white. Why am I not impressed? There we go. There we go. Is there something? Oh. There's nothing in here. Okay, so this is a necklace. It's like a five piece or like a three piece or something. I'm gonna open it up. And I learned a cool trick off of TikTok that I'm going to do with this jewelry, like all of these accessories, um, is I'm going to tata them with um, clear nail polish so that it creates like a barrier of sorts. Because one thing about she in um, jewelry, you are going to get what you pay for. <laughs> it's not a lie, my babes. You are really going to get what you pay for. Cause to be fair it's not that expensive it's like cheap right it's cheap jewelry but in order f and it's cute trendy pieces so in order for them to last you know you need to but like look at it it's like a one two three four. it's a five piece it's a five piece necklace i love it ah oh, love it Oof. so yeah i'm going to before I wear it, because I know like moisture from my body is going to turn it purple almost immediately. So I'm going to do the right thing for myself and coat it with the nail polish before I wear it out. So that I can at least elongate its lifespan a bit. I know it's not going to last forever, but... Yeah, and I'm gonna do the same with like my earrings and stuff. I'm going to do. Oh, these are so cute! I forgot about these. These are like dainty little rings. I'm gonna take them out now. Um, but yeah, Bona. I bought special hair nail polish from Daiso just for my jewelry <laughs> because I want it to last a bit. How can you go out? cute girl wow accessorizer you know what i mean i'm not buying these accessories just for fun bro well i am buying them for fun but like i mean i want them to last i'm gonna put them on and then show you guys oh. Oh, this is so cute oh, guys gets all away like in the past how we used to wear Oh, did you tell my film? Why do I feel like this is my bigger hand? Like, yeah, it is. It definitely is. I'm gonna put them on my right um, fingers. This is big. 
Creo que se me ha caído. Oh, are they all for like? I don't know, but I'll take the picture to see like how they're supposed to sit. Um, but yeah, like these are the rings. They're really cute and dainty. But now I saw these other ones. I'm gonna get next time. I don't know when, because right now me and she in need a break from each other. But I'm going to, these are the three rings by the way, if you didn't see. And then these are two rings. So, it's a total of five rings. But yeah, me and she in are giving each other a break, Okwamanje. Because I feel like it's taking too much of my money. And I have other responsibilities. So, well, not just responsibilities, but other fun things I'd rather be spending money on than just buying clothes. Like... You know, places where I'm gonna actually wear the clothes. So, exactly. I'm also gonna coat these with that nail polish. And I think my favorite of, like my favorite accessory apart from the, hmm, it always, hmm, it always gives. I guess they printed it darker, but I'm still not mad. So I got this. This is my favorite. Th actually, this is what I've been looking forward to in this haul the most. Is this iPhone cover? Even though it says, oh yeah, it says iPhone Max. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought it meant, I thought it said iPhone Max and I'm like, hey, that's not my phone. But yeah, this is the cover I've been excited for. It's giving me OG. It's giving me old times with a good times, baby. It's giving nostalgia, like cassettes. Some of you guys were not even born when these came out of commission. Like when these were not a reality anymore in our world. Some of you guys went, oh my god. Okay, no, you don't need to see what's going on. But we're gonna add a black cover. But how cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. It is what it is. One thing I told myself with my phone, like, and these covers, I told myself I'm going to have, I'm going to have a great time, like, getting different covers. Plus, also, she in makes it really hard for you not to get a phone cover with each, like, shopping experience you do. Because their phone covers can be so cheap, right? Like, 20 bucks. Ah, you know. Because I remember my first haul, I think I bought, like, three covers. One of them being the one that I'm currently using. I'll show you. I'll show you just now. Um, which one it is. Which I love so much. And I don't want it to get dirty. So I'm going to change it out for something else. Um, so that it doesn't get dirty. Because it's a clear cover. Uh, so, But it's this one. It's like, God, it's like a traveling inspired cover. Which is what I'm really about. Honestly. So it has Rome, New York City what's this london yes london so it's basically like travel stamps which i'm hoping to do more of and get more of but this one i might even change it to this cover because it's nice and black which is how my heart feels right now now let's get to the clothes and then i'll tell you guys what's going on with me first no, this one is gonna be the shoe stop. First and foremost, I got a skirt. It was supposed to be satin, according to my understanding, but clearly it's not satin. Huh? Daisy. Hi. Okay, so I got this skirt. Shh, no, the, the light is too it's too bright. Let's see. Is it showy? I don't know why I'm asking. Mara. Basically, this is the skirt and how it looks. It's like a dainty, flowery skirt. I genuinely thought it was going to be satin material. But I feel like satin material was going to be too bright. I am kind of mad at it because the colors are muted. And in the picture, the colors are really bright. So that's why I'm saying mm, I am mad at it. But I can make it work. 
because I really wanted it the way it was shown in the picture but I also love the fact that it's even though it's like a light skirt for the summer it's double lined so because it's very sheer you're not in it in and of its own so it's double lined so I like that but hmm, we can make it work <laughs> but funny enough it's looking really long and I'm not that tall <laughs> I'm average height at best I, 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 I. I feel like this dress is a mess because the picture I feel like the picture told me I was getting a white dress now why does this dress look cream it's still cute though but I mean why does it look cream this is not white this is cream bro like very much cream but I still like it it's like a long sleeve short dress when I bought it I was thinking of work and then maybe depending on how far down the Volvo is the V is I'll just do the wobble with the because one thing about Korea the modesty um, modesty politics is here so we're fighting a good fight of modesty in the workplace so that's why I'm saying I'm gonna cinch it in a little bit if it's too far low because I don't wanna oh, I give up a little complex but Mara, I'll give you better reviews when I actually wear it and see how I look in it but I feel like already we are not starting off on a good note okay with the clothes in this haul because it's giving very much catfish <laughs> like hmm. I was also excited about this one I got a shirt finally oh love it because this is what I was definitely expecting ha ah, order is restored so this is the shirt I got it's a nice simple you know black and white I mean you what am I blue and white um, shirt that I can wear as a work shirt which I really like or just as an over shirt on the weekends because I'm not about doing that or even at work like wearing it as an overshirt at work it's very light material which is breathable which I like for the for the summer it's a good nice um, summer work shirt and I think the material is linen actually it's linen material so which is nice hmm I like that <laughs> I like this one and then the girly so this one I already have this bodysuit I already have in a white and I was like it's so absolutely perfect that I need more colors right I was gonna get it in cream and oh, this brown how gorgeous oh, this brown is absolutely amazing so it's like a t-shirt bodysuit for work obviously because why modesty politics because it's like high neck and it's a t-shirt so i like that pella here yeah, we don't do this and we don't do this so you must get with the program and respect people's cultural practices right on the culture of the community itself um so yeah i'm really impressed with this one i know what i was expecting so yeah so but this time i only bought the brown one because i was like mm, i had to mix masala my cart so that it caters for like a wide range but then i'm not mad at this is, i'm not mad at what i got oh, <laughs> i forgot this accessory guys <laughs> excuse me um so I bought a bag, a handbag, cute little handbag. Um, because I was wondering why is this what, what is this? <laughs> How cute to just you know go out and be a cute girl. Because <laughs> I have only my other my other handbag is the black one. So this one is like another ooh cute girl. It's a crossbody. And I wanted something cute and dainty. Okay. Oh, 
and it's cute and dainty like nothing no drama just the one pocket uh, like this one is for those like when you're going out with the girls and you only need your wallet your phone some lip balm and hand sanitizer brah like that's it let's see if my phone even fits in here because my thing it needs to fit oh yeah it does oh well, this is what i need like that's all you need baby girl and this thing is very steady like this thing that you used to open very very steady but yeah i like it cute Aina matata you get what you pay for it wasn't all that expensive but yeah you get what you pay for bruh um i forgot about it like genuinely i forgot about it and last but not least i got a knit top for the summer then it's a crisscrossy which i find so cute ah! <laughs> how nice it's got like this crisscross detail so it's like almost like a cropped but it's not all the way cropped you know actually it's not really cropped because i know i don't like cropped stuff that's how it looks excuse the mess because you know we've been doing unboxing hmm i expected it to be a little bit lighter i know it looks washed out on camera because of the lighting it's competing with okay yeah it's not helping it's not helping but like you see it now better i would really like but i like it still it's giving cute vibes so yeah that's all i bought mostly tops and two dresses no pants oh <gasps> how could i forget the star of the show like i'm doing a lot of forgetting today i bought those and i bought a set ah a set why because i'm trying to be a set girl because sets are so easy bro like so easy to and you're getting basically three outfits out of one. Yep. If only this camera would just be cooperate with me, that would be great. I don't know really learning. I'm gonna have to clean up this mess here. So I got a set. And as you can see, I'm quite obsessed with the color brown these days. Ah, ah, it's giving <sighs> i got it in a cool tone brown it's giving it's like um overset or like it's like oversized kind of style oh it's giving guys it's really giving i think this material is like but linen vibes i just don't know materials like that but it's very breathable and lightweight and it's just giving like oh, i'm obsessed can't wait to wear this uh out i don't think i'm gonna wear it at school yet because it's an outfit too and it comes with long pants and the long pants are white leg oh which is another obsession of mine <sighs> that's nice man i'm super proud of this one hey 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 bye hi i actually was gonna buy it in beige at first but i decided against it because i saw the brown and i'm like it's enough it's enough i have enough beige items to last me a lifetime I'm exaggerating I know but I was just like nah let's not do the beige again let's try something different you know let's try some color this time and imagine the set with these shoes or these flip-flops you guys hi Lena hi Lena hi Lena let me keep the dust bags that's the idea that I have no but let me keep these the shoe dust bags okay guys so now I'm going to talk to you as though you are my friends are you my friends? do you consider yourselves my friends? or what? I don't know bruh but I don't know why I'm being so random as well maybe it's because I don't know how to process what I'm about to tell you but I feel like it should be good for me to talk about it and not be in my head about it since I live alone, wow. 
so today is tuesday the 7th of june 2022 a day i never thought would end up like this right and it's currently 5 38 where i am which is south korea but back home in south africa it's around 10 38 and so which means it's still the morning right so i just got a text from my little sister when i was at work i want to say at most an hour and a half ago it was like towards the end of the <clears throat> towards the end of like my after school class i don't know why i was <laughs> on my phone to be honest um but i opened it my mistake was opening that text and it read the remote just passed this morning hmm. and i was just like what like you know that initial shock of like finding out a close family relative or like a loved one has passed on it's like weird bruh anyway so i've been in korea since february march april may june this is my fourth month here it's about to be my fourth month on the 15th of this month and to be fair i i expected to go home with everyone i lived like i expected to go home eventually when i do go home and find everyone that i lived right that's a fair assumption right especially because um man that's just an expectation i've always had the only person i've been worried about and vela i've been praying to god about i've been late and they've been at the flag like, hey, at the forefront of my prayers are my grandparents where well, it's just like lord keep them for me like please don't take them while i'm gone and i'm i know it it sounds superficial or whatever but like i was being for real about it and so far so good nothing out of the ordinary with them because i feel like with them uh -uh, please don't even try it lord so number one so by diri mutobi it's my uncle who is married to my aunt who is my mom's sister so it's basically my mom's sister's husband that passed on but now we're very close bruh like they live down the street from our house practically grew up in that house um he was always like a father figure to us and like self-appointed family patriarch <laughs> i joke about it now but honestly he was but i don't know how to process this loss because for a good amount of time in my childhood he was my favorite uncle like please he, he knows we had a good relationship going on it's just that when i got older and stuff like and i'm not even gonna lie about it like when i got older and you know how when you grow older because when you're a child and having relationships with adults you have them in the you know perspective of a child but when you grow older and starting how and like start understanding how adults are multidimensional or how people human beings are multidimensional and we all have different experiences of people like i basically started making my own way out of it like i don't want to say making my own way out of it but like basically I started realizing things that I wasn't too impressed with and I started like distancing myself and stuff but there was no love lost I need you to know that he's still my uncle still love him still respect him you know all of those things but it just it got to a point where like we weren't agreeing on too many things and for peace sake I was like okay let me figure my way out of it you know let me figure my own way around some of these things and stuff but there was still that like respect and love and all of those things 
a lot of things happened in between bra where some of them i'm really embarrassed by i'm not impressed by but i mean that's such is the nature of life and family i guess because no family is perfect we all have our own you know conflicts within and whatever but like obviously the important thing is to resolve them right sure thing but the reason why i'm telling you about this is number one I didn't expect a death to occur while I'm gone. Nah. Because I mean, come on, whoever expects that to happen? Number two, his death specifically. Because I don't know, man, like as people or children, even though we know it's physically not possible, our parents are gonna live forever, babes. Like there's never a time where you think, of your parent one day being gone until you're faced with that harsh reality right and i consider this man yo, can't believe i'm already speaking about him in the past tense but i consider this man as a parent still do i don't know man these days i process things at a very delayed rate and I'm afraid this one is gonna is gonna be even more delayed because I'm just so confused. And to be fair, man, it's quite shocking because even before his passing, he was in and out of hospital for a little while. Like he did have health concerns. To be fair, but not those kind where you think I it might be five two you know what i'm saying like you never expect it you're always thinking ah man this person will bounce back yes maybe they've seen the pelly gigs but they will come back and unfortunately this time it wasn't the case anyway so as i was saying i didn't expect the death to happen i didn't expect his death to happen and number three i didn't expect a death at all so soon into like me being here so it's it's a weird feeling i'm having a tough time even processing the fact that he died like my heart is broken eh? but the emotion part of it hasn't yet like it still feels like a dream of sorts and i think i think at most i feel detached not from him or whatever but i feel detached from the news of him being gone simply because i'm not with my family and that i'm alone in a foreign country far from home so already it feels like i'm detached from my family in terms of geographic location but emotionally as well in terms of processing this loss i feel detached because you 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 forget Hore. things like time difference exacerbates that like it's insane how time difference exacerbates the detachment you feel from your family and friends and loved ones that you basically left back home or you know it's crazy yo i don't know how to feel bro i'm not gonna rush myself to feel anything but loss is weird death will never not dev me loss is weird um life is weird everything is just weird right now i don't know how to feel bruh maybe i'll give you guys an update maybe i won't maybe this will be my only time to process this loss oh yes one last thing i wanted to touch on i saw someone um i think in uh the girl she's in korea as well she has her own channel as well 
where she talked about like she posted on instagram or something someone was talking about like um the cons of moving abroad alone for, like away from your family some of them include like um deaths you know in the family and stuff like not being able to pay your final respects like and the funerals and whatever and she like basically broadened on that and was like yeah i think that it's not even just about the person dying but rather that you can't even like go to the funeral because i get it normally going to the funeral is like paying your last respects is the closure that happens so with you being so far away like you don't even get the opportunity for closure right it's like basically you left home this person existed they were there and by the time you go back home whenever that it is there's like no sign of them ever again like you left this person they were alive and well and we when you come back there's absolutely no trace of them i think that is what's giving me the most is the fact that when i do eventually go home whether it's to visit or relocate back home there's gonna be no sign of him whatsoever because so much time would have passed it's crazy he came to say goodbye the night be like the day before i left to come to korea i saw him you know we said goodbye he wished me well you know even gave me some money for cold drink which was very consistent of him you know what i mean and even apologized that it wasn't more and i was like listen dude relax like i appreciated this and that you know and he's like no go well one two three one two three and now to think that when i get back home there will be absolutely no sign of him like stepping into his house and no scent of his will be there like no essence of who he is will be there i guess that's weird that's very weird bonege na le yena bonege bolela le yena last week bonege bo tlisisa it's hitting different because i last spoke to this man when i left also because a lot of life has been happening here and like you know most with the relatives you don't speak all the time but when you do it's like to catch up that and that's that and that's it and it's just hitting me now that like when i go back and like go visit my aunt and stuff like that they would have already adjusted like life would have already adjusted to them living without him and for me it would be a reintroduction into life without him <sighs> yeah i'll probably like call them at the end of the week because i doubt or text hmm. i'll text at the end of the week i'll text my aunt at the end of the week or like tomorrow or something because I'm sure right now she's very overwhelmed. You know, with calls and whatnot. And this and the third. I'm sure she's very overwhelmed. And so are her children. But, hey. Yeah. Take you guys later, man. On another day where we talk about something different hopefully it'll be a happier time talking about happier things but for now this is me signing out because the day just went three 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 for me and what i want to do is eat maybe watch a movie and just sit in stillness because there's nothing else there's nothing else for me to do except to sit with it so let me sit with it and i'll see you guys in a